Hey guys, welcome back to the JW and Toad True channel. So this is part three of the series of the 1975 fiasco. So I hope you guys like the part one and part two. We've looked at many publications so far. I think 10 so far. So we've looked at the Watchtowers. We looked at the Wear Awakes as well. Kingdom Ministries as well. And two talks from the brother Chinuko. And now we're going to look at another five or actually no, six or seven articles of the Watchtower. And let's have a look at what else we can find about the date 1975. So well, let's have a look at this Watchtower of March 15 of 1969, just merely six years before the date of 1975. And the title of this Watchtower is the what influences decisions in your life and also living up to your decisions why is it wise to examine your religion oh i would love to go through that article um astronomical calculations and the count of time so let's have a look at this watchtower and let's see the evidence Many schools now have students con counselors who encourage one to pursue higher education after high school to pursue a career with a future in the system of things. If you remember correctly, some of the Jehovah Witnesses or the former Jehovah Witnesses back in the day complained that they couldn't finish the school, the careers, because of the 1975 date. So here, the Watchtower is promoting the views of the schools and the, their views instead. Let's have a look why the Je former Jehovah Witnesses decided not to go pursue higher education or careers. So many schools now have students, counselors who encourage one to pursue higher education after high school, to pursue a career with a future in the system of things. Do not, do not be influenced by them. See, this is the proof. Do not be influenced by them. <clears throat> Do not let them brainwash you with the devil's propaganda to get ahead to make something of yourself in this world. So the devil's propaganda is using the schools. This is what I said before. The system, the Satan system is governments, schools, uh, wicked people. We got here teachers as well, counselors, brainwashing Jehovah Witnesses mind <laughs> with the devil's propaganda to get ahead, to make something of yourself in this world. This world, listen this this part, this world was very this world has very little time left. Confirmation statement. This world has very little time left. Any future this world offers is not future. Um the watchtower is saying this. Wisely then, let God's word influence you in selecting a course that will result in your protection and blessing. Make pioneer service. Give up your school. Give up your careers. Give up the plans of having kids. Give up, give up all your plans. But go into make pioneer service the full-time ministry with the possibility of Bethel or missionary service your goal this is a life that offers an everlasting future so the watchtower wants your time wants your money wants your life wants your everything that you have for themselves so let's look at the 12th publication now the awake 1969 the awake 1969 main the 22 and the title of this awake is why the worldwide student revolt let's have a look at the paragraphs that they quoted here again let's have a, this is just unbelievable if you are a young person you also need to face the fact that you will never grow old in this present system of things. I mean, they are not saying the end is coming, but with this statement, it's more than clear. They are pointing to 1975, the end of the world. If you are a young person, 1969, let's say you're 20 years old, you also need to face the fact 
Listen, mate. Listen to us. Listen to the fact that you will never grow old in this present or system of things. Because if you're 20 years old, by 1975, you're 35 years old. Why not? Let's have a look. Why not? Because all the evidence, all the evidence in fulfillment of Bible prophecy. So they pointed to Bible prophecy as the evidence for 1975. That this corrupt system is due to end in a few years, few years, six years to go. Of this, of the generation that observed the beginning of the last days in 1914, Jesus foretold this is a Bible Jehovah's saying now. This generation will by no means pass away until all these things occur. Oh God. Only if they knew what happened in 2015. <laughs> Therefore, as a young person, you will never fulfill any career that this system offers. If you're in a high school, like, what was that again? If you're in high school and thinking about a college education, why waste your time? <laughs> it means at least four, perhaps even six or eight more years to graduate into a specific, specialized career. But there will this but where will this system of things be at that time? Meaning where will this world be by that time? Where? It will be well on the way toward its finish, if not actually gone. Gone. Gone like that. <laughs> oh has it <laughs> gosh how wrong were they i mean i should say how correct were they <laughs> another paragraph from the same awake uh, what future for the young young or old you need to face up to the fact come on guys keep keep up with the program that this system is not going to to face up to the fact that this system is not going to change its direction and the status influence, it will continue to deteriorate rapidly in its remaining years. Is this fear mongering? Is this trying to put fear in the Jehovah Witnesses and the public? Uh, you will be the judge of it. All right. The 13th publication, the Watchtower, May the 22nd. The title of this Watchtower is Keep Close in Mind the Conclusion of the System of Things. Let's go to page 15. It says, Bible chronology, which indicates that Adam was created in the fall of the year 4026 BCE, will bring us down to the year 1975 CE. As the date making 6,000 years of human history will yet 1,000 years to come to, for Christ's kingdom's rule. So whatever the date for the end of the system, it is clear. It is clear, guys. It is clear that the time left is reduced. Hell yeah, only six years ago. With only approximately six years of left until, until what? The end of 6,000 years of human history. Okay, confirming it again. So the 14th publication, The Awake, 1971. Wow, four years to go. <sighs> I'm getting palpitations now, guys. <laughs> okay, let's, keep, let's have a look at the... Uh, so the title of this awake october the 8th relief from today's pressures how let's have a look at the um paragraph so here they publish another timetable again confirming and it says as we near the end of the six thousand years of human history in the mid 1970s there is a thrilling hope of a grand relief so it says there at the end, as you can see, millennium reign of Christ Jesus. 1975, right at the end, in the middle there. 
because you can see there it's called 1974 and a little bit further it says nine it would indicate 1975. all right uh the 15th publication we're going to look at is the watchtower 1974 december the 15th wow it's getting closer guys it's getting closer oh yes and the title of this watchtower is is this the way to honor jesus christ oh it looks interesting it looks very old too doesn't it all right let's have a look page 766 as the year 1975 opens up some thousands of the anointed remnant still alive on this earth look ahead to realizing that joyful prospect the increasing great crowd of the ship like companions look forward with them to entering the new order without interruption of life. So here the saying that the great crowd or the common Jehovah Witnesses that are not anointed are looking forward to see the new order or meaning the new uh, the anointed being resurrected being taken to heaven to uh to reign with jesus christ and uh, new order jehovah god will add to the oh sorry and then entering the new order without interruption of life in the new order jehovah god will add to the length of days of the anointed remnant on earth to the point of satisfying the members thereof it remains to be seen whether they will be yet retained here on earth to see the start of the resurrection of the earthly dead and to meet faithful witnesses of ancient pre Christian times, they will enjoy that before being taken off the earthly scene to the heavenly reward with Christ. So, still, when they were not quite sure if they were the God will give them a bit of time to see them resurrected, coming alive, or if they will be taken to heaven straight away. So, this is the 16th. Uh, Piece of evidence. Uh, this one is a talk given at the assembly on February the 10th, 1975. Los Angeles, Fred Franks referred to life everlasting life in freedom of the sons of God. So let's listen to this uh, talk given by Fred Franks. If we we'll go to this red book here, Everlasting Life in uh, freedom of the sons of God. And then if we turn to uh, uh, page 35, we are startled to see the year 1975, where we actually are. And what does it say with regard to 1975? It says the end now notice this, the end of the six 1,000 year day of man's existence in early autumn. And then it carries us beyond that, beyond this year. The next date is 2,075, a thousand years from now. And what does it say regarding that? The end of the seven thousand year day of human existence in the early autumn. Now that's all it says about 1975. And that's all we can say to John Dart, the religious editor of the Los Angeles Times, or anybody else out there in the world who wants to know what uh, we have published regarding uh, this critical year. We know it's a critical year. We know we're near something. So that's pretty much clear. That was in 1975, just early February. So just a few months before the autumn <laughs> it, it was getting closer back then eh now let's have a look at the 17th publication this is the washaba 1975 made the first 
Wow, it's getting closer and closer. This is this watchtower. It says, um, if the title is uh, Relief from Global Problems at Hand. So let's see what they quoted on this watchtower. Into page 285 says, Does this mean that we know exactly when God would destroy this old system and establish a new one? Friends showed that we do not. We do not know how short was the time interval between Adam's creation and the creation of Eve. Remember, guys, that before they mentioned that it was only weeks or months, not years. Let's have a look what they're saying now, because this is in May now. At which point God's rest day of the 7,000 years began. But he pointed out, we should not think that this year of 1975 is of no significance to us. It is something. For the Bible proves. So again, the point of the Bible, this is the Bible saying, is this is what Jehovah is telling them to say. Proves that Jehovah is the greatest chronologist and that we have the anchor date, 1914. Oh, making the end of the Gentile times. So he continued, we are filled with anticipation for the near future for our generation. Very vague here, but they're still pointing to 1975. They're not making any changes. So now, the washhawa is very good at using fear, inculcating, inculcating fear on the followers and the public. So let's have a look at some of the quotes that they use for inculcating this fear. So let's go to the Awake 1968, October the 1st, on page 15. Is the later than you think. Let's have a look what they publish here. U.S. Sec US Secretary of the State Dean Eckerson said in 1960, I know enough of what is going on to assure you that in 15 years, so this is 1968, in 15 years from today, or by 1975, and the brackets, of course, we need to point this to 1975 for it to work, this war is going to be too dangerous to live in. Whoa, that's fear, putting fear in people. And of the struggle between communism and capitalism. Intelligence Digest of August 1967 said the facts, dot, dot, dot. Ooh, it would be interesting to see what it says in the dot, dot, dot. Show that the forces in the world struggle are grouping themselves for a decision. Decisive, decisive showdown. Wow. Decisive showdown. One of the greatest problems beyond men solving is the coming food shortage due to the population explosion in the book Femin 1975. Food experts WMP Paddock state by 1975, a disaster of unprecedented magnitude will face the world. Famines greater than any in history will ravish the undeveloped nations. I forecast a specific date, 1975, when the new crisis will be upon us in... God, I can't read that. It's awesome importance. And it is awesome importance. It's a bit funny there. Uh, by 1975, civil disorder, anarchy, military dictatorships, runaway inflation, transportation breakdowns, and chaotic unrest will be the order of the day in many of the hungry nations. 1975. So let's look at the 20th piece of evidence, the 20th uh, publication, the Kingdom Ministry, May 1974. How are you using your life? Let's have a look at the effect that these fear publications has done to the followers or to the public. Let's have a look at this kingdom ministry in page on page three. It says here, reports are heard of brothers selling their homes and property and planning to finish out the rest of the days in the old system, in the pioneer service. Certainly, this is a fine way to spend the short time remaining before the wicked wars end. So in 1974, 
here, the reporting here and the kingdom ministry. And remember, the kingdom ministry was not a public document. It's not, it was not a public um, uh, publication for the public. It was just for the Jehovah Witnesses. And here they're giving the report to the Jehovah Witnesses what some brothers are doing. And they are commending this. Actually, let's read the whole thing. Yes, since the summer of 1973, there have been new peaks and pioneers. New peaks, 1973. Every month. Now, there are 20,394 regular and special pioneers in the United States. An all-time peak. That is 5,190 more than they were in February 1973. A 34% increase. Does that not warm our hearts? Then they are reporting this. Reports are heard. We're hearing of brothers selling their homes and properties and planning to finish out the rest of the days in this old system in the pioneer service. They are encouraging here other peoples to get onto the wagon. Get onto the full-time pioneer services. Sell your houses. Give up your jobs. You know, just go with it. Plan your pioneer services. Why? Because certainly, listen to this. This uh, they are applauding, they are celebrating that that these brothers are doing this. Certainly, this is a fine way to spend the short time remaining before the wicked words end. So they're not saying why are you guys doing this. We just well, there's some people just saying it. We're not confirming this. We are not a hundred percent sure. This is just a possibility, a minor possibility. We're just putting some numbers together and this is what we come up with. No, it's 100% sure. And they're seeing the fruits now. They're seeing peak numbers of Pioneer's services. So let's have a look at the 21st publication now. Uh, the Awake 1974, November the 8th. Page 11. Uh, I had to put the volume there <laughs> because I could not find the cover for this awake. Um, the 1974 awake. Uh, there we go. And then it said the quarter here. Today, there is a great crowd of people who are confident that a destruction of even greater magnitude is now imminent. Oh, this is in November. So, wow. The evidence is that Jesus' prophecy will surely have a major fulfillment upon this entire system of things. Ah, hysteria! Oh my God! This has been a major factor in inf influencing many couples to decide not to have children at this time. <gasps> my God, this is, you see, this is where the former Jehovah Witnesses were complaining at the video that they decided not to have children because of this freaking date. Now they are childless couples. They have chosen to remain childless so that they will be less encumbered. Really, less encumbered. How they in less encumbered to carry out the instruction of Jesus Christ to preach the good news of God's kingdom earth wide before the end of the system comes. So they're saying here that Jesus, they're taking Jesus' instructions given by the governing body or the Watchtower leaders back then to look at the 1975 as the year of the, the end of the system. So, not to have children. So they are not encumbered. Jesus Christ. It's just, they are just playing with people's lives here. It's just ridiculous, man. So guys, what can I say? So much information, so much evidence we have available about this 1975 date. Thank you so much for watching this video so far. Uh, again, this is part three. We still got another part, part four, and probably part five. I'm not quite sure yet, but yet. Yeah. So we looked at the uh, awakes. Uh, <laughs> Many awakes actually, and many watchtowers, and another kingdom ministry as well. And it's just, and, and the uh, talk as well uh, by Fr Brother Franks. 
the publications that we're going to look at the next one, the part four, we have the uh, Watch Towers and we also have three other books. We got the yearbook of the 1980 and the truth um, that leads to everlasting life, the beautiful blue book <laughs> and also our beloved book, the Jehovah Witnesses Proclaiming of God's Kingdom. And uh, what a beautiful book, wasn't it? And actually, I do have a copy of myself from our beautiful Jehovah Witnesses, Proclaimers of God's Kingdom. Oh, Proclaimers of God's Kingdom. What a wonderful, thick book that we have. Actually, we had to pay for this book, <laughs> if I remember correctly. I can't remember how much we paid, but uh, maybe probably $20 or so. But yeah, um, if you don't have a book, this book, oh my God, the stuff. Oh, something just dropped. Uh, I wonder what it is. Oh, uh, no, it was a bookmark. So yeah, sorry about that. So yeah, uh, we looked at this. We're going to look at this book on the next um, series. So um, keep tuned and let's wait for the next part, uh, part four, and probably a part five coming as well. So thank you guys again and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Um, we'll see you on the next one.